to know more about my work, you may visit my website www.tarabayanisha.com. For those of you who are seeking deeper clarity, be it in your love life or your career, for a personal consultation, you may write to me at tarubayanisha at gmail.com. Virgos, welcome to March 2021, Astrology and your Horoscope. It's a fantastic month. We have all the planets, be it Jupiter, Saturn, Neptune, Uranus and Pluto. And they're all direct. They're all marching ahead. It's a great month to be taking action, moving in forward direction, implementing all your plans. On the third, we have Mars that moves into your house of career. This is also the house of accolades. And this is the time where you're going to be driven to succeed. However, much of the success that you may have had till now, Virgos, it may not be enough for you. There's always more that you strive to do. There's always more that you're aiming for, gunning for. Your ambition surges at this point of time and you are focused completely on your long-term goals. Virgos, there is no denying that you're one of the most hardworking zodiacs. You uh, are a natural on taking responsibilities in getting the work done. And also you're so detail-oriented that there's very little that misses you. However, this is a time where you are being urged to look at making realistic plans. Um, you're not someone Virgo who shies away from the facts and from logic and reasoning, but they could be a project or they could even be a job that could be really close to your heart. And you may have a tough time just looking at the rationality of it. So you're being urged this month with all the supporting planets and there are plenty of them who are supporting you, Virgos, and they are urging you to take an extremely realistic um action or implement a very realistic plan you may be focusing more on your career at this point of time than any other time and i think finances could be a source of strain for a lot of you and uh, it is also a time again that you could feel you know that you're compromising your personal life for your work it's a great time to be starting a new business it's a great time to be starting your own venture and the more that you accomplish Virgos, the more people are going to be noticing. It's a great time for those of you um, who are looking at uh, changing your uh, field of work completely. It's a great time to be reaching out to maybe your network of friends, people, uh, acquaintances whom you may have met during maybe conferences or over work. Um, it's a great time to be reaching out for collaborations, for leads, for tips. And um, it's also a time that you have plenty. Mars is going to be giving you a lot of confidence. So uh, you could be um, you could be feeling more braver uh, than usual. And it's a time to be taking a little bit of a risk as well, Logos. Uh, some of you could have a little bit of an issue with uh, parents or uh, with authority figures. Um, it may seem that uh, you know you are displaying very un like traits. Uh, you will refuse to sort of agree or comply to whatever it is that the other person is saying. And uh, well done, uh, Virgos, for that. Well done for standing up for yourself. Uh, it is high time that uh, you tried to implement your dream and you set your goals um, and you realized your goals rather. On the 13th, we have a new moon that is set in the house of uh, partnership. This is also the house of marriage and uh, new moon ushers in new beginnings. It's a lovely time to be forming a collaboration with like-minded people. Um, also, because this is there in your house of uh, marriage, it could be that you, along with your partner, start off a new venture. Uh, for some of you, you will find um, maybe collaborating with somebody who's really uh, at, at the same level uh, as you are emotionally and mentally and has the same uh, goals and same um, visions and dream about the work that, that you do. 
uh, it's also a great opportunity, Virgos, for you to be improving your personal relationships of all types, whether they are work or they are personal. And take some time to plan uh, the future with uh, your partner in mind. On the 16th, we have Mercury. Uh, and Mercury is going to come and join this house of partnership. Um, so we have a new moon and then we have Mercury. A lot of conversations around how it is, where it is that you start the venture. A lot of you could be looking for places. A lot of you could be looking for different jobs, opportunities. Uh, maybe some of you could be looking at raising some money or getting the funding right, um, putting new teams together, new collaborations, a lot of conversations around it. Maybe some of you could be negotiating. You could be uh, pitching your business ideas. On the 21st, we have Sun that is there in your house of joint finances uh, and resources. This is also the house of uh, intimacy and transformation. And this is shedding a light on your partner's income, uh, workers. And it can be that uh, there is something that comes to light which you weren't aware about earlier, about your partner's income. It can also be that um, because on the 22nd, we have Venus that comes and joins your uh, partner's income about your joint finances. It does usher in good news because Venus is bringing in its all gentleness, all the, and Venus is also about love besides being beauty and sex and all the goodness. Um, Venus also rules uh, money. So, Venus and Sun over here are, are going to be shedding light about maybe uh, finances that, uh, sudden finances that you may come upon. Maybe there is an inheritance that is there. Maybe you, uh, there is, uh, you know, something that, uh, a fund that's, that gets matured and you get uh, money from it. But overall, uh, a lot of, since the focus is on partners' uh, money and it's uh, partners' because it has Venus over there, it could be a pet project, it could be um, a hobby or something, you know, which speaks about uh, a power struggle, friction, you know, as to where it is that the money is really going, where it is that the money is being spent. So maybe now is the time you also need to be looking at your finances, your joint finances carefully. We're closing the month with a full moon that is there in your house of income. This is a house that you um, earn for yourself. Uh, and uh, this is going to be bringing up a lot of feelings on the surface regarding security, financial security, property, money, assets. And it is also often a time when you reassess your income and your budget. Um, you know, what is coming in, what's going out. And um, a full moon also indicates a time where you uh, buy something that you've been waiting for. Uh, you could have been saving for uh, this specific thing. And um, it could be something, uh, you know, it can also be something that it breaks and you have to replace it or you have a little extra money and you can splurge or you merely um, find something that you were uh, looking for all along. Um, the way I see a uh, full moon in this specific house is that uh, it's going to be bringing a, a nice, uh, big, shining light uh, in your wallet and uh, or your purse and uh, what you're spending and you can budget and stretch your income a little bit uh, further. So uh, it looks nice, looks good. My only caution for you workers is because full moon uh, also tends to highlight things that we may have missed. So it can be that uh, a certain financial aspect could have sort of slipped away from you and it is coming out now. And also because uh, full moon is about endings, it's about fruition, it can be that something has come to an end and you need to be moving ahead. You need to be maybe reinvesting. It's like restarting all over again. Um, but um, because you have the support of sun and Venus over there, uh, don't uh, get disheartened. There's enough and more planetary support for you this month. It's been a pleasure speaking with you, Virgos. I'll see you again soon. And thank you so much for watching. Bye.